Whatever political correctness views guns as uh, the ultimate evil, evil's in our hearts, not in the guns. Where would the teachers put the guns? Uh, people can carry firearms in a concealed fashion, do it all the time. The well, laws wait a minute, provide wait, wait a minute, for that. Wait a minute. So in a school full of 600 children, including five and six-year-olds, you would have teachers walking around armed, carrying the guns on them, where they may possibly fall and allow a five-year-old to pick it up and possibly misfire it. Is that your, that's your people solution? Are, people are walking around with guns outside of schools uh, all over our country, and we don't have those kinds of problems. You can always play the what-if game. But you have, you but have even Mr. Pratt, if you, Mr. Pratt have, you, have, you have enormous problems in this country. You have over 300 million guns. You have 311 million people, many of which are children. You have more than a gun per adult in this country, and you have by far the worst rate of gun murder and gun crime of any of the civilized countries of this world. How can you, you possibly will, argue uh, that the let answer... Me argue, then. I'm asking you this question. Let me, let How me can answer. you argue that the, <laughs> the logical... Please stop laughing. Uh, because you're, you're laughing, saying, uh, what sir? is your argument, and then you won't let me I'm make an argument. I'm going to ask you the question, but if you could stop You've laughing... You've already posited the if question. You could stop. Let me answer your question. I haven't asked you the, the question. Repeat My it. question is this, if you could stop laughing for a moment, it is this, why do you believe, given that you have 300 million guns in circulation and the worst gun crime rate of any of the civilized countries of the world, that more guns is the answer to less gun murder? Because the problem occurs, sir, in those areas precisely where we have said no guns. The problem doesn't occur where the guns are allowed freely to be carried, to be used by people. There we have very low murder rates. We have lower murder rates in other parts of the country than, than even in Europe, than even where you come from. But what has created the problem in the United States is to say in cities and schools, uh, those are areas where we're not going to allow people what to is the defend murder themselves. Rate? What is the murder rate in uh, Great Britain for the last three years, do you know, from guns? It's uh, under three per 100,000, and in Fairfax me, County, where Gun Owners give, of America is located, the, 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 it is actually 0.3 per 100,000, about a tenth mm. of what it is in your vaunted English uh, bucolic countryside. The fact of the matter is, with guns comes safety if the guns are in the hands of the good guys. And when you say the good guys can't have guns, the bad guys have a monopoly, and th horrible things such as the shooting at the schools take place. The AR-15, as we've now seen from the last three mass shootings in America, Aurora, the shopping mall in Oregon, and now at Sandy Hook School, is the preferred choice of weapon for disturbed young men uh, who want to commit mass atrocity. It can fire hundreds of bullets at rapid speed if you have the right magazines. The President of the United States has indicated he wants to uh, ban assault weapons like this. What is your view? I think we need to ban gun control laws that keep people from being able to protect themselves. The, the problem is not going to go away if we ban this or that gun. We've tried that. That doesn't work. doesn't even work in England. You've had mass murders there. All over Europe there have been mass murders. You're the solution is for people utter, to be able to defend themselves at the point and of the crime nonsense. and not wait for 20 minutes for the police to come what after everybody's said, dead. What Mr. Pratt, was an absolute lie. The gun murder rate in countries like Britain or Germany or Australia, who have all suffered massacres many years ago of similar nature, have they, they are 35 people killed your, a year. Your country your murder is rate has uh, Your murder rate is lower than ours. That is true. Lower? Your it's violent 35 crime, against 12,000. Your violent in Australia, crime rate, they had a your massacre, violent crime rate is higher than weapons. ours, as is the violent crime rate in Australia. America is not the, the Wild West that you are depicting. We only have the problem in our cities and, and, and unhappily in our schools where people like you have been able to to get laws put on the books that keep people from being able to defend themselves. I honestly don't understand why you would rather have people be victims of a crime than be able to defend themselves. It's incomprehensible. You're an unbelievably stupid man, aren't you? I, it seems to me that you're morally obtuse. You seem to prefer being a victim to being able to prevail over the criminal element. And I, I don't know why you want to be the criminal's friend.
What a ridiculous argument. You have absolutely no coherent argument whatsoever. You don't, do it. You don't actually you give, a, no... you don't give a damn, do you, about the gun murder rate in America? You don't actually care. All you it care seems about to me that is the facts right don't for bother any you, do they, Mr. Morgan? To, you would like facts, to see... Well, let's facts go don't through seem this. to... They bounce right off of no, your no, let's head. Just deal with you're, some facts. you're speaking oblivious to what we do know is that when you go to an area in the United States where guns are, are freely available, readily able to be carried legally, there you find our lowest murder rates, lower than the murder rates in Europe. You go to our cities where we have cracked down on guns and people can't defend themselves and that's where the criminals have a field how day. Many, how it's, many guns did Mrs. Lanza have in her home? I, I don't know. How, not the point. Well, the let point me, is let me somebody you. with she evil had, in his... She had six guns, including four assault rifles. And what happened was her deranged son who clearly was very her evil disturbed. son, her yeah. evil son. It doesn't matter what you call we, him. We shouldn't be, well, I think it matters because if you believe and understand that there is evil in the world, mm. then you don't uh, try as your first line of defense to, to solve it psychiatrically. You protect yourself with a so let gun. Me, let me finish my thread there, Mr. Pratt. So you have an evil young man who is living at home clearly with serious troubles. And his mother has six firearms in that house, including the weapons that he used to murder 26 people, including 20 children aged five. You are quite happy about that situation, are you? And you would be quite happy if there are many more people in his position in homes around America where there are that number of firearms which could be used by mentally unstable people. Americans with firearms in their homes typically have them locked in a safe, as I do, and as most gun owners certainly do. The fact that uh, this woman did not and knew that her son was uh, unstable uh, uh, reflected poorly on her judgment, and unhappily, she paid very dearly for her poor judgment. But that's not the reason that you should be able to come down on everybody else who's a law-abiding gun owner, who uses good sense, and to say, we've got to pay for that person's uh, stupidity, for their uh, shortcomings. That's just not going to wash. We're not going to let it happen, Mr. Morgan. I'm sure you're not going to try and let it happen. You see, my argument is not about the Americans' right to defend themselves in their home with a firearm. That's not the argument that I'm trying to put out there. My argument's the same as the argument that Senator Feinstein said, that the president endorses, that I believe many, many Americans now believe following this tragedy which is that there is absolutely no use and no justification for these AR-15 type assault weapons. Oh, on weapons. the contrary. Let me finish. How can you say let such a finish. thing? Let me the finish Korean my sentence. The Korean merchants in let Los Angeles use these sentence. kinds of firearms to let protect their lives and sentence. their businesses. And for you to say there's no useful uh, purpose for these guns, that's just completely wrong. Okay, let me finish my sentence. There are these assault weapons which have been used now in movie theaters, in shopping malls, in elementary schools to murder many, many Americans and now 25-year-old children. And they are armed with magazines 30 at a time here, 100 in Aurora in a movie theater. And your only answer, Mr. Pratt, to people that want to get rid of both the magazines and these assault weapons, if I'm not mistaken, is to let everybody else have similar weapons. Is that the solution to America's gun problem. I would murder challenge problem. you to go and tell the Korean merchants who survived the riots in Los Angeles, sorry you had those firearms. Can you answer my question? saved your lives. I'm answering your question. I wish you could understand it. Because you're would talking you like against self-defense. Would you like to see, would you you're like talking to see, against people being would you able like to, to protect see themselves. Teachers armed and you don't want to hear it. That's why you keep in. No, no, I don't mind hearing it. I think it's complete nonsense, but I don't mind hearing it. You would well, like to Brits, see. Uh, tend to do that, don't they? I'll stop being so facetious. I just want you to answer this one question. Post what happened at Sandy Hook, your answer to this problem of repeated use of this weapon with these high capacity magazines is to continue letting Americans buy them with impunity and to not concern yourself with these mass shootings. Is that right? The Second Amendment means what it says, and meanwhile, you want to continue laws against self-defense, laws that prohibit self-defense, laws that prohibit teachers and 
other faculty, other members of the administration in schools from being able to defend themselves if they have a concealed carry permit. The laws prohibit them right now. We have been lobbying against those laws since they were put on. We will continue to do so, pointing out that that is where the problem is. And for uh, you to support them means that you're really blind to the role that that plays in enabling murderers to operate with impunity. Yeah, I, I know. I know why sales of these weapons have been soaring in the last few days. It's down to idiots like you, Mr. Pratt. Thank you for joining me. When we thank come you back, for your high-level argument, Mr. Yeah, you know, Morgan. You know it's what? Really you wouldn't understand.